What's going on, Zernation XP001 here. Hey, doing a quick video for those of you that um, have achieved higher ranks in our recruitment program. Um, right here is, this is for Zert member ZP168, Heather Hiller. So this is her plate carrier. Thanks to Mike Ratton over at Shellback Tactical. He's donated um, a bunch of Banshee plate carriers for um, the Zert recruitment program. So what I'm gonna do right now is basically we have the Shellback Tactical plate carrier. Um, I'm setting up each plate carrier for those um, who hit that level. I think there was like five or six of them. So we got multicam, range of green, black, and tan, all from Shellback Tactical. So now to customize these for each uh, of the members. So I've been out to PA, obviously trained with Heather. So I'm setting it up to make it most uh, for her, conducive for her, and utilize it. But what I want to do, guys, is go over how to properly molly your rig. Now, this sounds stupid. A lot of guys don't know what they don't know, but um, there's a lot of times in Zert Train, I, we call it a yard sale swap meet because pouches are falling off. So I'm just going to go over a quick demo. So we got a double mag pouch, multi cam. So each manufacturer is different. Some have tighter. Uh, uh, molly weaves in them some don't but basically we're gonna get the first run through and the the funny part is is uh, when I was in the Marine Corps in 90, 99 when we got introduced the interceptor gear uh, we actually had a class on how to molly because that was new to us so all right guys you can go through get all nice and tight you're gonna basically punch through some this is just some of the plate carriers may have the same stitching in here uh, in between the molly to make it tighter and we'll go over some of those pouches there but basically we get it through the first weave and then we get it back through it's a pain in the ass guys but you want to secure these pouches I see a lot of guys just run them through and, and, and buckle them and next thing you know you know the weight of the mags or whatever they got in there is pulling the buttons out so for some of you guys are like oh this is stupid well it's not for you man there's a lot of people out there that don't know what they don't know we just want to make sure we're getting them in the right direction so now I'm going back through here we'll get it set up now Remember, different manu pouch manufacturers, if it's quality, not quality, sometimes the tolerances are really tight. Okay, so then we go through here, get it in, and then we buckle, right? Let's see here. And we just snap these in. Now, when you get it on there, I just realized that. Well, may not, maybe too low. So now I'm gonna have to take it off, weave it through and adjust it one more time. Now, let's try something, guys. Now, I don't like how this pouch is laying, sitting low because it's sticking out right here. That may work for her, it may not. But the key thing is if she's sitting down, those mags may be digging into her hips. Um, so what you can do, too, is basically start a little bit higher so the way I would do that is actually let's see how these. weed them through the first here and that's gonna be my start point up here let's see how this works out for us once again weave through here Looks like that's going to be. Okay, pull it through, make sure it's snug and tight. And if you have ex ex excess, yeah. See, I like this height better because it's sitting at the top here versus low. See the difference, guys? Now, don't just snap this through here and leave it. Go ahead and see if you could push it to, through the bottom here. 
obviously I like this um, show back tactile, obviously, you know, super tight knees on the Molly, so it holds in. All right, guys, got some pliers, pulled it through. Another tip is, too, guys, is make sure you pull your plates and armors out of the pack first, so it allows you to stretch the material and have a little bit of flex. You snap it in, and then you can basically tuck that in there. I still got to do this one, but just to show you guys right here that you can get it in just like that, guys. So this little tip, sometimes you might have to use um, some uh, plotters to pull through. But, so right here, quick tips. I, I got her two um, double M4 mag pouches, and since she is into photography, stuff like that, I just got a bigger admin pouch that she can use uh, for various things, maybe camera lenses, batteries, whatever. This flap right here, guys, allows it to cover up the Velcro so it doesn't stick. So if you need it, quick release here without having to uh, tear it as well, guys. So that's just why that's there. So you have the option of running uh, double secure with clips or in Velcro, either way. So stay tuned, guys. I'll follow up later uh, when I get this thing done. Start over. But hey, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. Um, I got five or six different plate carriers. But I'll be putting together for those select members that earn a free plate carrier because of the recruitment program. So, all right, guys. Thanks for stopping by the office. I'll talk to you soon. XP's Rules of One, out. The Zerk Membership Pack is your gateway to a worldwide organization dedicated to building a safe and trained community armed with the proper mindset to see you and your family through to safety. The first year membership pack includes Zerk 702 black t-shirt, 5 inch Zerk 702 patch in PVC, your call sign and squadron assignment, Zerk membership certificate, official membership card with your call sign, 10 Zert recruitment cards. Access to discounts from Zert approved vendors. 15% off most Zert merchandise year round. In addition to the membership pack, once you join, you receive the following privileges. Access to the Zert forum and exclusive online videos. Zert, not just an organization, it's a lifestyle. ZertNation.com.